All right, Dinesh D'Souza joins us, but first, watch this. It is my judgment. Dinesh D'Souza was sentenced on Tuesday to spend eight months in a confinement center. It all began when the Obama administration tried to shut me up. You know, gang's all about stealing, man. What did I learn? All crime is about stealing. The big criminals are still at large. Didn't uh, see any reason to keep them. The system doesn't go after them because they run the system. It's time to go behind the curtain and discover the soul of the Democratic Party. Oh, yes, you got to love it. And joining me now is the man, Dinesh D'Souza, New York Times bestselling author, documentarian, and filmmaker. His new one, and that's part of it, that's part of the trailer, Hillary's America, the secret history of the Democratic Party. And Dinesh joins us exclusively. Hello, sir. Steve, it's a pleasure. Good to be on the show. Always good to talk to you. So, uh, when is this coming out, and what else uh, exciting uh, are we going to learn from this? Steve, there's only one good time to release this movie, and it is the week of the Democratic Convention toward the end of July. So they will be telling you the story that they want you to know, and we'll be telling you the story that they don't want you to know. So there'll be two narratives out in the country that week, and one of them, the true one, of course, will be ours. Now, I, I've always said and I've always maintained that if Donald Trump wins, uh, the nomination. He's going to play the tape of Hillary saying, uh, bragging about and laughing about she got off a child rapist. He's going to bring the, the women out who say they were intimidated by Clinton. He's going to bring the Benghazi family survivors out, uh, three family members who each say, each different families who say Hillary looked us in the eye and said it was the video and she's now calling them liars. I, I mean, is that kind of stuff in, in this, uh, this new film of yours? Uh, yes, I mean, the, our, our film is, is the most powerful attack, emotional and intellectual attack on Hillary and the Democratic Party that you can ever imagine. Uh, I mentioned the Democratic Party because this isn't just about Hillary. Now, in my last movie, um, uh, that, that uh, presidential movie, uh, 2016, I focused really just on Obama and Obama's secret life and the part about Obama that people didn't know. We made predictions about Obama that largely came true. But in this film, it's not just Hillary. She's a big part of it, but it's about this whole sordid history of a party that has from the beginning uh, been defined by subjugation, exploitation, and theft. Not just slavery, but continuing with segregation, Jim Crow, the black codes, opposing uh, voting rights for blacks, opposing the 13th Amendment, emancipation, uh, the Ku Klux Klan, uh, and it's uh, forced sterilization, support for fascism, uh, a Japanese internment during World War II. This is the true history of the Democratic Party and of progressivism. And those things have been swept under the rug, and we bring them to light in such an emotionally powerful way that I sometimes think we may need to have counselors outside the theater <laughs> for Democrats who happen to wander in. I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait. Uh, I want you to hear some. By the way, how can people get a look, a preview look at this? Or uh, you got a website for it? Yeah, just uh, DineshDSouza.com, my website, okay. D-I-N-E-S-H-D-S-O-U-Z-A.com. You can watch the trailer. Great. Uh, and the movie's out in July. Okay, sounds great. All right, uh, something that I think is uh, very, very troubling. Uh, at a congressional hearing yesterday, Loretta Lynch, the Attorney General of the United States, was asked about uh, deniers, climate change deniers, uh, in the context of them being criminals. And she was asked if the Justice Department has discussed civil legal action against climate change deniers, so-called, with the FBI. Let's watch this. Under President Obama, the Department of Justice has done nothing so far about the climate denial scheme. This matter has been discussed. We have received information about it and have referred it to the FBI to consider uh, whether or not it meets the criteria for what we could take action on. I, I, how chilling is this? And I don't want to put words in your mouth, but go ahead, react to this. Uh, I mean, this is a, you can, you begin to see the mentality of these people and it is vaguely Stalinist. And by that, I mean the notion that if you disagree with them, look, you and I can look out the window uh, and we can come to a different assessment of whether or not it's going to rain. Uh, you and I can both look at our experience. We can look at data. We can come to conclusions about whether the, the globe is getting hotter or cooler. 
Uh, even the uh, people who claim climate change claim that it's a change of one degree, roughly, over a century. Right. So reasonable people, at the very least, can disagree about this. The notion that they want to actually refer to the FBI is downright creepy. Uh, I think these are creepy people and they have a creepy agenda. This actually ties right back into our movie. There's a new sensibility afoot in America. It's a very dark one. All right, let's talk about the Republican race. And of course, we have a debate coming up tonight. And don't forget, 11 p.m. tonight, uh, Eastern Time, Newsmax extended deb uh, post debate coverage. I'll be there along with my colleagues. What's your take on this? What's your take of them, the establishment going after Donald Trump, um, even Glenn Beck calling him a uh, Hitler? I mean, what are, you, what, are you, what are you seeing when you're hearing all this? Look, I'm, you know, I love Glenn Beck, um, and uh, I don't think that Donald Trump is Hitler. I don't think he's a fascist. I mean, look, if he stands in a particular way, crosses his arms and looks to his left, he looks a little bit like Mussolini, but that doesn't make him a fascist. Uh, does anybody actually think that Donald Trump cares what you wear or what you eat or what religion you practice. Remember, fascism, like communism, is a system of totalitarianism aiming to ultimately regulate and run your life. Well, who's doing that? Does Trump want to do that or does Hillary want to do that? Hillary wants to do that. These are the kinds of people who want to ultimately micromanage our lives, control our wealth. So I think, you know, I. Uh, I can see that Trump is a wild card. He became a Republican, it seems, the day before yesterday. Uh, I've got issues with Donald Trump, but uh, I'm not scared of Donald Trump. And I think, moreover, I think the Republicans, we Republicans, should be a little bit careful because to demonize Trump is also to insult his voters. In the same way that if you demonize Cruz, you're insulting the people who love Cruz. And these are all votes that we need to defeat Hillary. Yeah, no, I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, Dinesh, always great to see you, sir. Can't wait for the movie and come back before then, please. Looking forward to it. All right, Dinesh D'Souza, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only. Thank you very much, Dinesh. Thank you.